Although he had had his controversial exploits off the pitch, nobody could deny George Best's place in the history of football and his entitlement to a statue in his honour. To be fair, his private life wasn't all about partying and drinking. After a failed marriage to Angela McDonald Jaynes that ended in 1986, he married former air hostess and model Alex Percy. Despite being 26 years his junior, Alex and George seemed to be a good fit for each other and married in 1995 at the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, London. Although it has been reported that George was violent towards her throughout the marriage, Alex stayed with the former football champion for nine years until their 2004 divorce. The issue of George's violence during their marriage was tackled in a biography entitled Bestie, in which Alex claimed she had been punched in the face by George on more than one occasion. George never denied the claim. Bestie, which was released in 1998 and co-written with Joe Lovejoy, is just one of the many books written about one of the most recognised footballers on the planet. With a life story to rival a Hollywood blockbuster, George remains a figure of great fascination to all football fans and the general public alike. Thus, it's easy to understand why there have been so many books written about the gifted midfielder. Information on George was in such high demand by fans that he was given his own football annual, which ran for five years between 1968 and 1972. Sadly, it was this love for everything to do with George Best that may in some way have contributed to his early death. Becoming football's first megastar, he had no one to look to in terms of a positive role model. Although his activities off the field will never be forgotten, there is no denying his achievements on the football pitch. In his prime, he was unquestionably the best and his legacy to the game will remain forever.